<sighs> hey guys. I don't even know what to say. We, you, you, you've made me a very happy person. Very happy guy. I am incredibly lucky to say that we have hit 20,000 subscribers. 20,000 subscribers. We went from 10,000 to 20,000 in two months. And it took me a year and a half to get to 10,000. And it's not showing any signs of slowing down, at least not yet. <laughs> I don't, I'm so speechless. It's insane. Every time I say the words 20,000, 20,000, I never expected to be here. I never, ever, ever expected to be here. And I, I don't, I don't know what to expect anymore. You guys have blown me out of the water every single time and I am so so happy to be where I am so happy it, it means the world to me to be able to do something that I love and share this passion with you as I've said so many times before and I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys you guys are what make all of this possible you make all of this possible and I thank you from the bottom of my heart I thank you for allowing me to do that. So I promised and I've been talking about a while, a big a big announcement coming, a big announcement coming. I've probably been saying that for a couple of weeks now. Um, and I wanted to wait for this. I wanted to wait for 20,000 subscribers before I said anything. So this particular video is obviously a huge thank you to all of you. Big, 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 big hearts to all of you guys. Um, as well as about three, three or four different things I want to talk about. Um, first of all, my the current situation with my channel. Um, I want to talk about what I want to do with this next year and what I'm going to be bringing back to the channel as far as series are concerned. Um, there's a lot of cool things I want to talk about and if I forget any of them, I'll be really upset with myself. Um, but first and foremost is the community play date. I promised a community play date at 10,000. Then November happened and that wasn't possible anymore. Um, it was just one of the busiest months I've ever had in my entire life. It was a lot going on both personally and with YouTube, and it made it, it just made it impossible for me to set an exact day for the community play date. But, but, I have a day. We are going to be playing this coming Wednesday. Um, there's going to be the community play date. It'll start at the normal stream time that I always start. I'm just looking at the exact day on the calendar here. Um, this coming Wednesday is January 8th. So January 8th is going to be the uh, community play date. It is going to start normal time, so noon EST. Um, and it's going to go <coughs> as, as long as I can let it go. I don't have a planned stopping time. Um, I have some games in my mind that I definitely want to play. Uh, Dota 2, Gary's Mod stuff, so like Trouble in Terrorist Town and Prop Hunt. Uh, maybe some TF2, uh, all kinds of stuff. Chivalry is going to be another one up there. There's been a list of suggestions that you guys have given me during the past streams. Um, so be ready for that. It's going to be fun. A minimum of five, five to ten hours at least. It's going to be a long, 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 long stream. Maybe 24 hours. I can't promise that. I don't know how I'm going to be able to do it. Um, I have a hard time streaming for that long without getting tired. Um, there will be breaks between, like, games. So after I play a game for a couple hours with you guys, I'll take, like, a ten minute break, go grab something to eat, have lunch, come back later. But it's gonna be it's gonna be a ton of fun. I have a date set. We're doing it. I will see you there. You better be there for the eighth. And I can't wait to play with all of you guys. So get ready. It's gonna be fun. Now something really important to note for that is keep in mind I'm not gonna be able to please everybody. There's gonna be games where it's gonna have a player cap and maybe we can't get everybody in. Or you might not own the game that we're playing at the time. You should still come and hang out and have fun because streams are a blast. Me and Dean are going to be there. I'm going to try and get other people to come in like Bear Taffy or Ohm Wrecker. Maybe Northern Lion will pop in for a little bit. We'll see. I'm going to talk to all of them and see who I can get. Um, but don't be distraught if you can't play the games we're playing. I want you guys to be there. It's about the community. It's about you guys. You guys who have allowed me to do this. That's what this stream is all about. So if you can even come and hang out, that's all I care. Um, so the next thing is the big announcement, and this is kind of scary for me to finally announce. It's been something that I've done recently, and um, haven't really wanted to kind of put out there yet. Um, I have quit my job. You have all allowed me to 
quit my restaurant job. And I'm not making, you know, I can't tell you how much I'm making. I'm not making as much as I was making at the restaurant, but I am making enough to get by. Um, and it is a very scary and exciting step for me in my YouTube career. I don't know how long it's going to last. It could last a month. It could last two months. It could last years. Um, for, you know, fingers crossed for the latter. Um, but no matter how long it lasts, I am so grateful to be here. No longer do I have to wake up in the morning or, you know, at night sometimes and go work a 12 to 13 hour day and then come home and cram in three or four hours worth of work uh, at YouTube and then, you know, go spend some time, you know, if I have with, with my fiance and then wake up and then finish that work that I started on YouTube last night and then finish it and then go to work and work at the restaurant and have this continuous 24 hour cycle of just working and not having a lot of time to do what I want. I am now able to do YouTube full time. And <laughs> it's, uh, you guys are amazing. You're amazing. You're amazing that you allow me to do this. It's such a privilege to be able to do this. And whatever, however long it lasts, thank you so much. I am happier now than I have ever been. Even with the stresses of moving and all kinds of personal stuff going on right now. I am happier now than I've ever been, and I have all of you to thank for that. So um, I'm going to need your support now more than ever, so keep watching those videos, keep telling people about me. If, you, if this is something that's going to become long term, I need you guys to keep watching my stuff. So as long as I'm entertaining, keep on watching, and I will keep doing as much as I can. The good news, uh, well, it's all good news, but the really good news about me being able to do this full time is that certain things that I've let go get to come back. Um, primarily one, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been streaming a lot more. That's not going anywhere. That's a big bonus of me being able to do this full time is that streaming is going to become a mainstay in my career. Um, but more importantly, some really cool stuff is coming down the pipeline. I'm allowed to announce one of them right now, just one. Ready, Set, Game is coming back. It's coming back in a different form, though. It's not what it used to be. Um, it's not going to be this 10-minute news blurbs that I'm going to do every week, at least not as as that. Um, I might still bring that series back under a different name, like a 10-minute news blurb, but I feel like news is just done too much. <coughs> it's going to be a podcast. Um, me and the original editor of that are going to be doing Ready, Set, Game as a one-hour podcast once a week. But we want to know from you guys, because you guys are going to be the primary audience, obviously, initially, do you want to see it as a YouTube video that we record off screen, or do you want to see it as a stream? The benefit of doing a stream is that, you know, it's a much more personal kind of thing. We get to interact with you guys, the audience, very immediately. But there's a bigger benefit of YouTube is that there gets to be a lot of post-editing. He does editing as a living, that's kind of what he does, and he has a company that he works with. And being able to do it on YouTube will allow him to do post-editing and make it look a lot shinier and a lot cooler. Um, we will be doing a lot of the new stuff that we were doing in Ready, Set, Game before. Um, but we will have guests on. We have plans to have all kinds of indie devs on for guests and all kinds of cool stuff. And we're going to be bringing that back as a once a week show. When that starts, we don't know. We're still hammering out some of the finer details. Hopefully within a month, could be within two. Um, but that's coming back as, as a series. And I'm so very excited. Another cool thing is that I get to really dive back into... Uh, killed in action, missing in action, and my retrospectives. I now have the opportunity to spend that time to go back and do that series. The reason I had to kind of wane off of it is because I just didn't have the time. Working in the restaurant industry and working on YouTube and making time for family and the love of my life is impossible. But now I do. And I'm really excited to head back into that. So that's another thing that I'm incredibly excited for. So... Uh, really excited about that as well. Um, what else? There was something else I wanted to talk about. There was like one more thing that I definitely wanted to talk about, but it's not coming to me. If I think of it, I will do my best to tell you on Twitter or whatever it is. But anyway, thank you guys again. This has been an amazing ride. Oh, yeah, I know what I wanted to do. Um, yeah, this has been an amazing, amazing ride. Um, this year is going to be a fun year. 
New Year's. This whole 2014 is poised to be a really big year for me. And my goal, and I've got a couple goals for this year, didn't really have many goals last year, but I do have some goals this year, is by the end of the year to be at 50,000. I would love to be at 50,000 by the end of this year. I would also like to raise my first bump of charity money. Um, I would love to raise $5,000 in charity this year. And there will be some charity streams coming down the line. I definitely want to give back now that I have the opportunity to do so. Um, and I would love to do some charity streams and charity work. So look forward to some of that. That's going to be coming down the line. Probably in coming the springtime, I'd probably do my first charity live stream. But $5,000 in charity, I would love to be able to raise this year. All told, all by the end of the year. So I'm really excited. So again, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything you've given me. And I cannot wait to see what 2014 has for all of us. Until then, huge love. <laughs>